Hello everyone. I hope everyone is well, safe and happy and healthy. Uh, today I'm not at uh, any of my job sites. I'm at home in my garage and I have a mini split um, fan in front of me that I want to show you guys how to work uh, on mini split uh, fan. I don't have the condenser but I have the fan. I show you guys how to remove the motor, how to remove the blower work on the board or transformer so this video to just show you guys how to um, remove parts from any split because I seen a lot of places that I go and customer says I call the technician they say the motor is bad this fan is bad you have to replace the entire system that's not true you can change every part on your uh, system without changing the entire system so uh, I'm gonna open piece by piece and I'll show you guys how to do the job. Stay with me and I'll put the camera closer where I work. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman and I'm using my uh, iPhone to record, uh, film everything. So if there's a shaking and moving the camera around, not properly, please forgive me. And I hope you don't get mad at me not doing a professional job. I'm not a professional cameraman anyway. So stay with me, I, I move the camera and show you. Put my helper down. She's a lazy dog. She just like to be hard. And especially when I'm home, she never leave me alone. Everywhere I go, she follows me. So I'm gonna put her inside the room, her room, and come back and show you guys how to work. Okay, so to remove, let me move this first before. To Let's see for if you have a problem with the blower and you want to just change the blower. Unfortunately, you cannot just take the blower off. You have to still open the motor housing to release the bolt from the blower. So to do this, this one, you have one screw here, two screws in this other side, opposite side. Take a screwdriver, open this screw. And remember there is a ground is connected to this one. two screws from there okay so you had one screw here one here and one right there okay now when you come to the housing the motor you have a screw right here open it you have a screw right here. And you need a little longer screw to go through coils. There's one screw right in the back of the housing where your copper connection, copper pipe connections are. Okay, let that open. Now, time to get there okay this is this one it's a little bit harder for me because it's sitting on the table but when you guys have it on the wall and the pipes are connected to the wall it will be a little bit easier because you don't have nothing to uh, this is has too much weight right now on our on, on on this so you move this one slowly make sure that the screws are Look at it. Okay. okay. So once you get okay. so once you move that, you need your Allen wrench to unscrew this little bolt right here. Once you open that a little bit. You go to the opposite side, you pull this plastic part out. Once you pull it out, that would lose. 
once you remove this whole plastic that holds the other side of the blower your blower is loose and you can just pop it out that's it simple as that now once you move this okay either you put the new one back on connect it back if the motor is bad then you go to the motor just pick it up there's no bolts no screws and that's all you have this is the motor so this is how you take the mini split fan the motor and blower out also the transformer and uh, board the piece of board this is the transformer again right there it's very easy to open there's all of these things are loose there's no they don't put too many screws so you can all either pull it out or maybe there's one screw on the top maybe here okay guys so i'm gonna start putting this back so you can see how you put everything back okay for example the motor was bad now we're replacing it this is a new motor make sure your cables or all your connections are in this opposite side i mean on the top where the board is so don't put it this way always goes toward the back of the top of the seat fan okay once you put your motor in you get your new blower motor blower you place it actually sorry about that you take your motor you put it you have a flat part here you insert it inside your blower again you need your little allen wrench you tie it once it's tight you set up your motor and make sure all these wires are in the back on top of the motor so you can connect it easy to your board once you set up your motor you go to the opposite side to this side you get your plastic back and if you look at it you have a little uh place for it this is just a place that you put your bracket just put the bracket in this the floor now and slowly push it to a space okay so now Make sure that this little rubber thing sits on this part. Your screws are in its place. And now, first thing you do, what you do, you tie this screw so your blower doesn't move no more. Move to the opposite side. you come to the opposite side you take your lower back and bring it to put it back in the same spot that you took it out as i told you guys it will be much easier for you guys working from the top to the bottom for me working on the table is a little bit harder now guys this part you have your ground make sure that you don't forget your ground 
take your ground, put the screw, and then and this screw will tie your coil to the body too. Now I'm going to the opposite side again. I have two more screws to put on the between the coil and the body of the unit. And the two, this two screw, it goes to that bracket holds the motor. So now everything is tight, everything is good. Your blower is sitting in the right place, your motor is there. Now we connect your power back to the airboard. Put it somehow so you guys can see. Okay. You take your board. Most of these connections are already color coded. I as explained that blue goes to blue. White goes to the white. Comments connect right here, and ground connects back right here to the body. So let's, for example, uh, slide you first. Connect your cable uh, cables back to the system to your board. Transformer wire, 24 volt. And this one is your 220 transformer, close to the point. This one goes right here. I don't have my glasses, so bad, sorry. Kind of working blind. Okay, and then this white one goes right right there oh I have my glasses yeah okay so that one goes there now we have the thermometer that it did the room temperature it goes right there and this one it clips right to the coil right there now we put the board back in its place Yes, you have one more ground coming from the condenser. We'll connect the same place. Then you connect your wires coming from the condenser. The five wires, you have a ground and power. Everything goes right here. And that's it. Okay, guys. What I did here, I show you guys how to open everything in a mini split fan. How to remove the motor. How to take the blower out. How to take the... Um, PC board or, in, or transformer. But please guys remember that before you go directly to the motor because the motor doesn't run or the blower isn't, doesn't run a turn that is something is wrong with the motor. What you do first when you get to the job, you diagnose your system. First thing you do, you remember, the fan get power from the condenser. So first you go to the roof or the backyard or whatever the condenser is, you check, make sure that you get power to the condenser. And then you come, when you see that the, you have power in the condenser, L1, L2 has power, or your L1 or net neutral has power, then you come to your fan. 
you take your tester, make sure you go back to check that you get power to the fan. Once you see that you get power on the fan, next step is you go to transformer that make sure that your transformer gets power. And then check the 24 volt to see if the transformer sends 24 volt to the board. Once you see everything is good, the board, the, the transformer, make sure they check the board that the board is not burned, you didn't see burn spots. It could be one of the relays that sends power to the motor. It could be that. Once you find that there's nothing is wrong with the motor, I mean the board and transformer, then you go to the process of opening everything and pulling the motor and the blower out. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys the next job. I appreciate your uh, time that you said and watch my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, share my channel with your friends, and I'll see you guys next job. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Goodbye.